Hi everybody, um, this is a uh, video response to uh, Northwest, or N.W.A. Prepper. Um, he had a challenge for, for us to plant something in April, um, and I'm really late to getting this done, but uh, hopefully, if nothing else, at least I got my stuff planted. Um, my son went out and bought me some stuff. Um, he bought me some seeds, he bought me peppermint some lavender and basil to plant um, these are part of my Mother's Day gift um, and I thought I would plant some of those um, I got this uh, this tray here this is actually a little greenhouse um, system and um, The seeds are so tiny um, and I'm just putting a few seeds in each one I've never done this before like this so yeah I'm just gonna kind of put some out there okay all right and then I'm gonna put that there so I remember where I planted those out and then this is the lavender and dump those out here. Oops, those are tiny little seeds. All right, and just put a few in each one. And I'll just leave uh, some of the spots when they do start growing. I can transplant transplant them into the open ones. Um, I had to set my my uh, uh, plant dirt in here earlier because it had been outside and it got a little bit chilly today so I wanted to warm up my soil before I done this and yeah make sure I get all of those yeah. okay and then yeah and then the basil so and I don't know how well these are going to come out but We'll see. Who knows, I may have uh, some stuff mixed in together. <laughs> I don't Are know. you going to show this plant over here? But, yeah. Alright, and I'll do a few right here. Since I have a few left. Anyway, I'm going to see how these grow. I don't know how they'll grow, but we'll give it a try. And then go from there and basically what happens with this little greenhouse that has a lid um, it's just a greenhouse seed starter kit now along with this I'm going to show you a little DIY trick um, if you have a water bottle and you take and you puncture a hole in the top of it it'll give you a little watering bottle I'm not going to water that yet but it'll give you a little mm -hmm. squirt bottle um, and uh, that yeah. will give you something you can water your stuff with. Now, I'm going to set this to the side um, because I have something else um, I want to do. If I can get this switched out. Now, he also bought me a hens and chick I got ants <laughs> from my soil. Hens and chicks plant that I'm going to transplant. But one thing I wanted to show you is if you take a, a plastic bottle like an oil jug or a water or a, a, a milk jug and you can cut these little spikes to go in to where you plant stuff so you'll know. So there's another little DIY trick. Yeah. Um, you know, give you something that you can write with permanent marker on there to uh, mark what seed you planted. Um, but this is my second thing I'm going to plant. I'm going to transplant this this bucket that I uh, uh, well that I uh, punctured, punctured holes into the bottom of it and he got this for me for Mother's Day too. Great. So I'm going to just put that down in there and this will be its temporary home until I can find where I have put my, um, I have a uh, kettle, that an old kettle 
that has um, holes in it that I can't use, so I'm going to use that. But I, I, it's in mm -hmm. my storage unit somewhere. Mm -hmm. So this will be its temporary home. So there we go. There is my plant something for April for NWA Prepper. And uh, all right. Thank you very much for having this uh, challenge. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.